Alrighty, guys, can you guys hear me? Just give me a thumbs up if you can. Oh, beautiful. That's what we want. So, my name is Kira, for those who don't know me. Um, I signed to play in the Frankston um, women's team, the NBL one this season, but unfortunately that didn't go ahead, which is quite disappointing. Um, but I'm here today to yeah take you guys through a bit of a workout. Um, this is mostly some of the stuff that I've been doing throughout this time, which is cool. So um, I've played in the WNBL for four seasons now, and I've just signed to play with the Sydney Uni Flames. Um, so hopefully I'll head up to Sydney soon and be playing with them. But yes, oh, that's a bit about me. And I do a bit of coaching on the side. I'm also studying physio at uni. So I do a lot of different things. But yeah, I'm here to give you guys a session today. So I'm just going <clears> to <throat> set this up and we'll get started. So we're going to start with a little bit of um, agility and ball handling sort of things. Um, yeah, so we'll do a warm up, um, agility, ball handling, and some getting the ball into shot bugger stuff. Today, I've just got, I've got two basketballs and a tennis ball and some cones. Um, if you've got that stuff, it's great. If not, completely fine. Just adapt with what you have and what you can do um, is great also. Alrighty, so um, let's get started. I'm just going to try and put this sideways. I don't know why it's not letting me. Is that putting me upside down when I do that? Like, why is that, why am I upside down? Let me just, we'll stay like this. We'll see what happens. Alrighty. So we're going to start without a ball. We're just going to be in the middle of our screen. We're just going to start jogging on the spot. A nice little jog. We'll just warm up slowly. A bit of a dynamic warm up. Beautiful. All right, from here, let's take into a little bit of a skip. Good job. And let's go into a high skip now. So really driving that knee up really high because this is what we use in our layups. The higher we can get that knee drive, the higher we can jump. Take it as high as you can for a few more. Alrighty, have a rest there. Alrighty, we're just going to do a couple of agility drills and landing drills. So what we're going to do, I'll show you and then we'll all have a go. We're going to start up high on our tippy toes as high as we can. And then when I say stance, we're going to drop down into our stance. Does that make sense? So everyone really high on our toes. And stance. So we want to make sure our knees are not coming in like this. Knees are out. Job standing back up. I want to get that load through our legs. Up tall. And stance. Beautiful. Go again, up nice and tall. And stance, beautiful. And one more, up as high as you can. And stance, good job. Alrighty, stand up, a little shake out. Alrighty, we're gonna do a couple more drills, so some sprinter changes. So we're gonna start on one leg. Our opposite leg is up like we're about to do running and our arms are like we're about to run. So we want our opposite arm to our leg, yeah? When I say change, we're gonna to switch to the other leg. We're gonna hold it and try and balance. Find your balance and change. Good job, we'll hold it and change. Try and balance, change. Good job, have a rest there. Alrighty, now we're gonna do the same thing as that. We're gonna do three changes. So we're gonna be on one leg. And then when I say change, you go know, one, two, three, and hold on the other leg. Make sense? All right, everyone ready? And change, one, two, three. Try and balance. Oh, it's hard. And change, one, two, three. And hold it. Good job. Make sure you're pumping those arms. And change, one, two, three. Good job. One more. And change, one, two, three. All righty. Good job, have a rest there. So, um, we are going to go straight into some ball handling. So, we'll just start off with one ball to start with and just in whatever space that you have. So, oh, my ball's here. Grab our basketballs. 
When you're ready, we're just going to start with some full body wraps. So we're going around our ankles, around our waist, and then around our head, waist, ankles. We're going up and down. You can start slow, but then we want to start going as fast as we can, pretty quickly. This is just to start warming up our whole body and get our fingers ready to go as well. Really make sure you're using the tips of your fingers. Alrighty, and change direction on that one, a couple the other way. Alrighty, good job. Now we're gonna go around two legs. Step forward, around one leg, back, two legs, one leg, two legs, one leg. Makes sense. If there's anything you have a question about, feel free to come ask. Just take yourself off mute. If you have a question or you don't understand, let me know. Good job, same thing. Oops, see if we can get faster. Good job. A couple more. Good job. Stand up, have a quick shake out. We're just going to go into some figure eight wraps. Just round one leg through the middle, the other leg. See if we can have our eyes up as much as we can. Doesn't matter if you lose the ball. See if we can get as fast as we can now. A bit faster. Good job. And switch directions now. So the opposite way that you were going. Same thing, build up that speed. Good job. We've got five seconds, keep going for three, two, and one, stand up, let's shake our legs out. It gets tiring real quick on your legs, but it's good. Training us being down in our stance also. All right, we're gonna do the same thing but with a dribble. So we're just going our dribble figure eights. Make sure we're really using our fingertips here. So we go around one leg, through the middle, around the other leg, through the middle. Yeah, just stick with one direction first. We want lots of little dribbles in this one tips of our fingers. Good job. You guys keep going with that. I'm just going to have a look. Very good. Nice. Good job. A couple more and let's change directions. Let's go the other way now. Good job, we're all doing so well. Good job. I've got a couple more of these. I'll take my jumper off quickly because it's getting real hot. It's a very hot day today. Hot. Alrighty. Hold it there, stand up, have a quick break. Shake your legs out. Alrighty, we're gonna do some more dribbling. So we're gonna just go one pound cross, one pound cross, one pound cross. We want our crossover to be nice and sharp and nice and low, and this dribble is as hard as we can. So pound, snap, pound, snap. Pound cross, pound cross. Now we're gonna go one pound between the legs. One pound between the legs. Oops, the ball. One pound between. Same thing, we're gonna snap it between our legs. Using our fingertips, push the ball down. Last one, one pound behind the back. One pound behind the back. Same thing, we're gonna snap it. Under our bum, really push that ball down. Pound it either side. Whoop. 
a couple more. All right, I lied. This is the last one of this. We're going to go one pound cross, one pound between the legs, one pound behind the back. One pound cross, one pound between the legs, one pound behind the back. We just repeat that combo. Make sure there's a pound in between each one. Cross, between, behind, pound in between. Good job. Doing really well. Alrighty. Hold it there. How's that going? Your thumbs up if you're doing well. Yeah. We're all doing really great. All right. For this next one, I'm going to use two cones. If you don't have two cones, you can use two drink bottles. If you don't have anything like that, you can just imagine that there's two cones on the ground in front of you is completely fine. So my cones are about just about as wide as my feet are. Just in front of me, just imagine them if you don't have anything, it's completely fine. First one, we're gonna have the ball in our right hand and we're just gonna do circles, little dribbling circles around this right hand cone. Does that make sense? So if you don't have a cone, just pick a spot on the ground in front of you and you're doing little circles around it. Let's go. We're really using our fingertips with this one. Lots of little dribbles. Good job. All the way out, back, keep going. Good job. And switch direction. Okay, circle the other way. Good job. All right, let's go take it to our left hand. Same thing, circles around the cone with our left hand or around our drink bottle or our little spot on the ground, whatever it is. Good job, keep going. We're gonna switch direction now, so circles the other way. Good job. Make sure we're bending our legs the whole time. We don't wanna be tipping our body forward. See if we can bend our legs. Obviously gonna limp a little bit. Alrighty, now we're going figure eight dribbles around the cones. So we come across with one hand, take it to the other, through the middle, to the other hand. Yeah? Figure eight dribbles around the cones or spots in front of you. Alrighty, stand up, take our legs out. Very good. Now we're going to work over the cones. So we're going to keep the ball in our right hand to start with. We're going to do one bounce on the outside, one bounce in the middle, one bounce on the other side, middle, first side. Yep, so we're going over and back, going straight over the cones each time. Really work that pound, get it nice and hard. Make sure we keep our legs nice and bent. We don't want to be doing this. It's not a very good stance. Yeah. Butt down. Pound that ball. You have to take a couple of dribbles in between to gather it. That's all right. Let's see if we can just go over and back. All right. Let's switch it to our left hand. Same thing. Going over and back. job. Oop. Keep our fingers nice and wide will help with this one. We'll have more control. Don't have to squish your cones like I just did. Alrighty, good job. Stand up, shake it out. Very nice. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going over and back. Between the legs, now the ball's in my left hand. And we're coming over again and back between the legs. Let's have a go at that. Does that make sense? Good job. Really snap it between the legs each time. Try and keep your eyes up and just use your peripheral vision. If you need to, to see your cones or 
to the other, almost feel where you need to bounce the ball. Keep your eyes up. Alrighty, stretch it out. Good job, guys. Are you guys puffed like I am? I'm getting very puffed. This is hard work. We're doing great. Alrighty. Last one of these. We're going to go over and back. Between the legs, behind the back, crossover. Now to my left, I do the same thing. Over and back, between, behind, cross. Make sense? Alrighty, let's go with that. Perfect. So we're going over and back, between, behind, cross. Over, and back, between, behind, cross. If you're getting confused, take a moment to reset in between each one and then go again. Over, back, between, behind, cross, oops, cross. Over, back, between, behind, cross. We've got one more of these. Alrighty, good job guys, hold it there. Let's grab a quick drink of water if you need one. Have a quick break, we're working hard, so grab a drink if you need, or just a little rest also. You guys are doing really well. It's very hot today, I'm not used to this heat. I'm loving it though, it's quite nice. <sighs> Alrighty, next one, we're gonna use our tennis ball. If you don't have a tennis ball, that's also fine. You can just pretend or just do the dribbling that we're gonna do. Make sense? Do, any, do many people have a tennis ball? I should check that. Couple of people got one? Yeah, cool. If you don't have one, just pretend, you can do the exact same thing and just visualize it, yeah? So our brain can do very magical stuff and visualizing things actually really helps us. So that's another thing we can do in um, lockdown or whatever situation we're in. So we can always use our mind to visualize things. So things like free throws, you can actually practice your free throws like lying in your bed before you go to sleep, yeah? If we just think about these things, it actually strengthens the pathways in our brain and can really help us. Same with like when you're trying to learn your plays. If you think about them, you remember them and you can do them better. So can work for a whole heap of things. Anyway, we've got our tennis ball. I think that's enough of a rest there. Alrighty, I'm just move my cones out of the way. So we're just gonna start. We're gonna have the tennis ball in our right hand, basketball in our left hand. We're just gonna be pounding the ball with our left hand. We're gonna throw the tennis ball up with our right. So we're gonna throw it up this way and catch it with our hand on top of the ball. You guys see that? So you're gonna up this way and catch it on top of the ball, yep while panning with our left hand. Throw it up and catch. Throw it up, catch. If we don't have a tennis ball, we're just pounding, visualizing. Throw it up, catch. Throw it up, catch. Good job. Make sure you keep going with that left hand. Uh-oh, lost my ball. Good job, keep going. Very good. Alrighty, we're gonna to go to our left hand now. So switch the tennis ball and the basketball over. I'm trying to find my tennis ball, I lost. Same thing. Throw the ball up, tennis ball up with our left, catch. Right hand pounds. Really. Use our core and our arm to push that ball down. Good job. All righty, have a rest there. Good job. Now I'm gonna be dribbling. As we throw the ball up, we're gonna do a crossover. Easier if you throw the tennis ball up just before you try and do your crossover. And tricky is to throw it straight up, not forward, straight up, and it'll be easiest to catch. So throw a tennis ball up, snap a crossover. If you don't have a tennis ball, He's doing a couple of pounds, snap, 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 yeah? Just working our crossovers here. 
you need to move your feet to get your ball, that's great. Pass yourself footwork too. So hand-eye coordination. If you can dribble a basketball well while throwing a tennis ball, you're going to be able to dribble the ball in a game and think about whole heap of other things, not just dribbling the ball. Um, my dog's on my ball. That's okay. You can just visualise. Like some other people don't have balls, so all good. But I'm glad your dog's having fun. <laughs> All right, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to try and put it between our legs. The basketball, that is. So same thing. Toss it up, see if we can get the ball between our legs. Ooh. Really focus here. If you don't have a tennis ball, just three pounds. Snap it between your legs. Stay in our stance. Good job, we've got a couple more of those. Good job, awesome job. This stuff's hard. We're all doing really well. Alrighty. Next one, we're gonna try and do behind the back. This is probably the hardest one. Pounding, throw it up. Try and get it, oh, not a good example. Behind the back, snap it behind. So this one, really focus on the tennis ball. Trust yourself with the basketball. Might need to move your feet around, that's all right. Couple more. Alrighty, good job. Let's hold it there. We can pop our tennis ball down. That was really good. That stuff's hard. Grab another drink if you need it. Then we're going to go into some two ball dribbling stuff, except I don't know where my second basketball has gone. So that's interesting. It's gone somewhere. Anyway, so you guys, if you have two basketballs, grab them. If you only have one, same thing, just make do with what you got and just use one hand. I'm just gonna try and find another ball real quick. I think I've got one over here. This one will do. I think it's a size seven, but that's all right. Oh, alrighty, so we are back. We're just gonna start two balls at the same time, waist height. We're just counting, try and hit the ball same time up to our waist. Really have a strong core will help us stay nice and strong. So if someone comes and pushes us, we're going to stay nice and strong. So we practice that here. Good job. All right, let's go down to our ankles. Same time, little tiny ones. Same thing, try to bend your knees. Not like this, yeah? Bend our knees. Good job, use our fingertips. All right, bring it up. You go head height now. Same time. Good job. We never want to actually dribble the ball this high, do we? But if we can control it up here, we should be able to control it at our waist height where the defender can't get it. Alrighty, quick little break. Then we're going alternating dribble. So one, two, one, two. Waist tight to start with. Really pound that ball. Good job. All right, take it down to our ankles. Those little tiny ones. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Good job. Very good. I'm being attacked by mozzies over here, and I don't know why. But obviously, we all just touched for the warm weather. I'm not liking it. All right, let's bring it up to our head height. Good job. Really push it down as hard as you can while keeping control. Alrighty, have a quick rest. Good job, guys. We're doing great. Get our breath back, have a rest. 
Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna have one ball dribbling down low and the other one's gonna be dribbling up high. It's gonna look like this. So you have this one dribbling about your knee height, this one head height. Let's have a go at that. Bit tricky, see how we go. One low. One high. Keep both arms strong. Almost there, keep going. Alrighty, have a rest. We're gonna go the other way. So this time the other hand is gonna be low, the other one's gonna be high. Ready, and let's go. So this one knee height, bring in the head height one. Nice and strong. Good job. Doing really well. A couple more seconds. Keep going and have a rest. Alrighty. Whew. Grab a quick drink if you need one. A little rest. You can put one ball down. We're done with our two balls. That was really good. Just have a little bit of a rest. Are you guys puffed? Ah, oh, good. It's not just me. I'm feeling puffed. Alrighty. Next thing we're going to do is just do, it'll be a bit more ball handling, but we're going to practice getting the ball into our shot pocket. So with this, we want to remember our shooting technique. We've got one hand under the ball, one hand on the side. And let's, when I talk about the shot pocket, I'm talking about here. So when we're about to shoot, we're nice and ready. We're here, ball is nice in my shot pocket. I'm locked in and I'm strong. Yeah, so I've got one hand under the ball, my other hand's on the side. I'm in a strong position, ready to shoot. So we're gonna do some different moves. So to start with, we're just gonna have the ball starting in our right hand, well, on our right side, kind of. It's gonna go between the legs. And then when it comes out, we're straight into our shot pocket. So we're picking it up each time. Obviously you can't pick the ball up and then dribble it in a game, but we're practicing our ball to the floor and then into our pocket. The harder we come out of our snap, or how do we pound it into our shot pocket, um, the easier it's gonna to be to get power from our legs when we're staying in our nice stance. So we're here, going between the legs, shot pocket. Reset between shot pocket let's have a go between shot pocket let's stay with our going right hand through the legs to start with between shot pocket have your eyes up like you're looking at the ring between shot pocket good job keep doing those just gonna have a little look good job so we also want to go when we come into our shot pocket, remember our legs. So we're probably gonna go from wide into our shooting stance, which is feet shoulder width apart about, yeah? So we go wide, get our feet into our, shot, our shooting stance. If you have one foot a little bit in front of the other, do that. If you wanna be like we're ready to shoot. Yep, see how my feet are nice and ready to shoot? Good job, there we go. Good job. Alrighty, let's have a go with our left hand through the legs now. So our left hand, pushing it down, snap between. This way, may feel a little bit funky. Unless you're a lefty, then it might feel easier. For me, this feel, way feels harder. So snap between, into our shot pocket. Excuse our left me. hand. Yes. Through and the left, and then do, go back to, if you're right-handed, go back to the right-handed, or do we stay on the left hand? Yeah, so we want to bring it back into our right hand shot pocket. Yeah, so you come through here and then keep on your right hand side. Does that answer your question? Yeah? Yeah, cool. Great question. Through, we always want to bring the ball back to our right hand shot pocket. Unless you're left handed and then it's going to be the other way around. Good job. So a couple more of those. Very good. 
All righty, have a quick rest. Good job, grab a quick drink if you need. We're gonna do some more of this. It's really good to help us stay in the rhythm of shooting, especially if we don't have a ring. It can be really good just to practice, keeping our hand under the ball, keeping that wrist bent backwards as well. All right, now we're gonna have a go at going double between the legs into our shot pocket. So try and alternate what side you start with. If that's too confusing, don't worry about it. Turn between, between, shot pocket. Between, between, shot pocket. One, two. Oops. Let's keep that going for a little bit. That's all right. See if you can really, if you're losing the ball, still practice pulling it back getting into that shot pocket like we're in a game, yeah? Even if the ball's out here fumbling, really snap it back into that shot pocket because there's no point rushing a shot from out here. It's not gonna be very pretty, probably not gonna go in. If you can control it enough to get into your shot pocket and then go up with it, it's gonna be a lot nicer shot. Good job. Alrighty, last one with this. We're just gonna go cross over between the legs behind the back, shot pocket. Cross between behind. Remember, we're going from wide to shooting stance, yeah? Really snap those moves. Ooh, shot pocket. Excuse me. You lose the ball. Yes, go. Um, when you uh. do the, um, the, I've got two questions. When you do the, cross between behind do you yeah. switch um hands yeah if you can that would be good okay. and, um, second question also do you have to move your feet well uh, cross between um i do it's good because in a game you're probably not going to be ever standing there without moving your feet plus it's going to be easier to move so i would say yes move your feet and that practices our moving in a game because in a game we're always kind of going to be rocking around with it or moving our feet a little bit or protecting oh, oh don't miss the ball protecting the ball moving our feet so yes let's move our feet with it thank you good job good questions good job we've got a couple more of these we're doing so well good job Okay, a couple more. Looking very good. All right, last one. All righty, hold it there. Grab a quick drink. Well, it doesn't have to be quick. We're pretty much done there with the dribbling side of things, but we will do a cool down also. That was good. Short and sharp, but I don't know about you guys, but I am... Um, Pretty tired, to be honest. A bit sweaty, a bit hot. It's good. Good session. Alrighty. So we're just going to put our ball down. We're just going to go through some stretches. Sort of like a bit of a yoga flow, but just stretching flow. So follow along with me if you can. So we're going to start just standing up. Roll our shoulders back a little bit. Because we use our shoulders and our arms a lot in that ball handling session to loosen them out. All right, then we're gonna slowly melt our body down really slowly towards our toes, reach for our toes. If you can touch the ground, that's great. If you're hanging, that's great also. See how it feels, if it feels different if you bend your knees a little bit versus having them straight. It's a bit of a different stretch. Neither is better or worse in my opinion, but just quite nice. All right, from here, I'm gonna walk our hands forwards. I might turn this way. I'm gonna walk our hands forwards. So in a high plank position here. Then we bring our right leg next to our right hand. Are we still following? So it's gonna, our foot's gonna be on the outside of our hand. Then we're gonna twist our right hand up to the sky or the roof or whatever's above you. I have a nice tree on the sky. 
Beautiful. And hold this twist. Very good. From here, we're going to bring our hand back down and we're going to put our hand on the outside of our foot this time. We're going to drop our back knee to the ground and untuck your toes. And we're just going to hold this stretch for a little bit. It's nice. Should feel this through the underside of your leg here that's bent, maybe in the bit of the front of the back leg. From here, we're going to straighten out our right leg to a bit more of a hamstring stretch. Obviously, with all of these, just do what makes your body feel good. If something hurts, probably don't do it. If it feels nice, then that's what we want. All right, bend our leg forward again. From here, we're going to bring our hands off the ground and bring them to your hips or wherever up above you. We're just going to lean forward, bending our right leg forward into more of a hip flexor stretch. Does that make sense? Very good. Oh, that's really great. I wish I had a mat delivered to me under my knee. That's the best thing ever. <laughs> good job. Alrighty, plant our hands back to the ground. We're going to tuck our left toes, bring our leg back up and step our right leg back into our high plank position again. From here, we can push back into kind of like a downward dog, bit of a pyramid thing. And we're just going to walk out our calves here. Very nice. You can hold it on one leg if that feels good for you. And switch the other leg. Or we can just pedal them out. Whatever feels good for you. All right, from here, roll back over to your high plank position. This time our left leg comes out to the outside of our left hand. Keeping that back knee off the ground if we can. And take a twist, our left hand up to the sky. Beautiful. Oh, the muddies, my goodness. All right, let's plant our left hand back down, this time on the outside, so our hands are either side of our left foot. Drop our back knee to the ground, if it doesn't hurt your knee too much on the concrete. Beautiful. From here, we're going to straighten out our left leg back to get more of our hamstring here. It's a bit of a funny looking position, to be honest. But it feels nice in my hamstring, so that's what we want. Oh my gosh, I'm being attacked. What is happening? Alrighty. Come back up here. We're going to bring our chest up. Same thing. We're going to bend through our left knee, coming through our hip flexor. So the top of the front of our quad here, we want to feel this stretch. So you can try to tuck your pelvis under and lean forward. Should feel a nice stretch through the front here. Good job. We can come back, put our hands either side of our foot, come back to a high plank position here. And now to finish off with, we're just going to walk our feet into our hands. So we're back like this and slowly come up to stand again. Very good. We'll just do a little stretch of our arms as well, just a bit of a shake them out a bit. So you use them a lot. You guys all did so well. Alrighty, and I'm going to get rid of that. Oh my God. Good job. It's going to go into a bit of a tricep stretch. So one hand across your chest here. Good job. And switch the other hand. Very good. And we're going to go up over our head. So we bend one arm up, reach over the other hand, other elbow. Beautiful. And the other one. Very good. Alrighty. Well, that's pretty much our session done today. You guys all did so well. Do you guys have any questions that you want to ask me or anything? Feel free to either put it in the chat or unmute yourself and ask any questions. Anyone's got any? If not, all good. You guys did so well. Remember, there's heaps of other sessions going on. Um, keep checking the schedule. Um, especially the mind-body one is something that I definitely 
tune into. I'm pretty sure they're Friday mornings. They're really good. Um, I had a look last week and it was great because um, I don't know if you guys, if you listen to um, little um, Q and A I did the other day, um, I talk a lot about yoga and Pilates. I think that stuff's really important, especially now we just want to do stuff to look after our bodies and yoga and Pilates is really great at both strengthening our bodies, which is going to make us more, um, we're going to avoid injuries the stronger we are, hopefully, um, certainly can help a lot. Um, and it's great for our mind, hence the mind body session. Um, but so calming and like yoga, you talk a lot about centering and in Pilates as well. Anyway, so that stuff's just really good, as well as all the other sessions going on are great also. But most of all, just be active as much as you can. Or if you don't feel like you're a bit tired or something, a nice walk can be great. Or just spend some time out in the sun, especially now that it's, the weather's warming up. It's a beautiful day today. I spent most of my day where I could outside. Um, yeah, just makes you feel really good. So good job, guys. If you have any questions, jump in now. If not. We all good? Thank you. No worries. Great job, everyone. You all did so well. Thank you. Thank See you, guys. Good Bye. job. Bye. No worries. Bye, everyone.